Well, good morning, guys. Today is February the 18th, and we are going to be looking in Psalm chapter 18 together. Psalm chapter number 18 is an awesome psalm of praise to God that David wrote after he became king of Israel. God made him king over the entire nation, and then David writes this psalm for us. And he puts in here some amazing stuff that we can learn a lot from today. And it's a longer psalm, so I'm not going to take the time to read the whole thing, so don't get scared. I'm just going to point out a couple of verses this morning uh, before you get to going on your day. One of the first verses that jumped out at me is verse number three. It says, I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. Man, David was just full of hope. God had saved him because he had called out. And we can be assured that when we call out to God, when we're in trouble, he's promised that he'll hear and answer our prayers and he'll be there for us. And David knew that. And he added this into this chapter so that we would know, so that we can claim that promise that when we call out to God, he's going to answer us. Then as I read down through here, there's two verses that go together that really jumped out at me. Verse 20 and verse 24. And they both say almost verbatim the same thing. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. Wow, the Lord does that. He is our good, good heavenly Father who does reward us for doing right. He wants to give us good and good gifts and wants to, to he takes pleasure in rewarding us. So God rewards us when we do what's right. Verse 27 says, you rescue the humble, but you humiliate the proud. And my goodness, there's something we should all learn there about being humble. The world's full of prideful people, and especially as men, we can fall into the trap of being prideful. But God rescues the humble, and he humiliates the proud. I would much rather have God rescue me than humiliate me. And I get to choose which one of those he's going to do by the way I act and the kind of person that I am. Verse 30 says, God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. What an encouragement as we know we can look into God's word that his way is perfect and he's promised to lead us in his way and all his promises prove true. All the promises in the Bible are true and we can have them. Man, there's a whole lot in this chapter and I hope you'll take some time and you'll read it today. Get into God's word, study God's word so that you can grow in your relationship with him. Until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.